Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh man. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. The search is underway for those who are behind these evil acts. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbored them. 20 years ago today, America came under attack. Three thousand people died in the attack claimed by Al Qaeda. The attack that changed the course of history forever. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. New York's twin towers became the face of Al Qaeda terror on September the 11th when two planes crashed into them. A third hijacked plane crashed into the United States military headquarters, Pentagon. And the fourth hijacked plane crashed in an open space even before hitting its target in Washington, D.C. Of 19 hijackers on four planes, 15 were from Saudi Arabia and rest from Egypt, UAE and Lebanon. Mohammed Atta, an Egyptian pilot, was a tactical leader of 9-11 plot. Atta is believed to have piloted American Airlines Flight 11, which crashed into the North Tower of World Trade Center. Atta's words just moments before crashing into North Tower still sent shivers down the spine. Back then, Al-Qaeda chief Osama bin Laden was in Taliban-ruled Afghanistan. Taliban had refused to hand over Osama to United States after 9-11, leading to the American invasion. But while Osama was the chief architect, there were other men who played a key role in 9-11. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed is a self-confessed mastermind of the 9-11 attacks. A Pakistani citizen raised in Kuwait, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed is believed to have planned financed and executed the attacks on United States. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was arrested from Pakistan in 2003 and is now at Guantanamo Bay prison. The 9-11 Commission and a US Senate report described Khalid Sheikh Mohammed a capable and bloodthirsty lieutenant of Bin Laden. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed is yet to be convicted and the hearing of his case is underway at Guantanamo Bay. Ramzi bin al Sheib is another defendant in the 9-11 terrorist attacks currently in U.S. custody. A Yemeni national, Ramzi was trained with 9-11 hijackers and was part of Hamburg cell. Ramzi, who was captured from Karachi in 2002, was a coordinator between hijackers, part of Hamburg cell and Al-Qaeda. There are three more men including the nephew of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed who were behind 9-11 attacks. Walid bin Atash He is a Yemeni national who took flights on US careers across Southeast Asia to test airline security before 9-11 attacks. Walid is currently facing trial in Guantanamo Bay. Amar al Balochi, He is a Pakistani national originally from Kuwait and also the nephew of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. He allegedly prepared hijackers and taught them how to function in Western culture before the attacks. He was captured in Rawalpindi city of Pakistan in 2003 and is currently facing trial in Guantanamo Bay. Mustafa al Hausawi, he is a Saudi national who allegedly aided hijackers with travel arrangements and money transfers. He was captured in Rawalpindi city of Pakistan in 2003 and is currently facing trial in Guantanamo Bay. The September 9, 2001 terrorist attacks had marked the beginning of U.S. war on Al-Qaeda and other terrorist outfits in Afghanistan. On my orders, 
the United States military has begun strikes against Al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. But 20 years later, the United States has left Afghanistan to end its endless wars. And the plotters of 9-11 and their hosts are undefeated, now back to rule Afghanistan once again.